Hello! In this video I'm gonna show you the forging process of the Bloomery Ion Viking Edge Spear. I'm gonna to forge the replica of the spear found in Czepo in Poland. The Bloomery Ion and Steel I use in this project I noted myself uh, using only historical technology. You can get more information about ion smelting in my previous videos. Links to them you can find in the video description below. The socket of the spear is rough and welded. Uh, the pattern welded twist uh, bars are welded on both sides of the spear core. I'm gonna use three kinds of materials. Soft low carbon ion smelted from hematite ore. High phosphorus low carbon ion smelted from bogor and high carbon steel I made in Aristotelian furnace. At the beginning I have to prepare materials. The raw high phosphorus ion must be fold and weld at least two times. So I need to forge it into flat bars. When flat bars are ready, I cut it and prepare a billet and then weld it in the forge. For better welding, I use a borax as a flux. I do the same with high carbon steel. After welding and forging flat bars, I cut high phosphorus ion and steel into 8 cm pieces and form a billet. After welding I forge it into the square bar and twist it.
The bars are twisted in opposite directions. Twisted bars I reforged to square bars again. To make the socket and spear score I use low carbon ion. I upset one end of the flat bar to form a socket from it. After wrap I can start welding the socket. Now it's time to weld pattern welded bars to both sides uh, at the core.
I have to uh, enlarge a little bit of the core so I need to weld a piece of iron to upper part of the core. When the core is ready I can weld the cutting edge. Cutting edge is made of high carbon steel. Now the spear is ready to final weld. The last hot thing is to shape the cutting edge of the blade. After 50 hours of work, including preparation of raw iron loom, I didn't show it in this tutorial, the spear is almost ready. The very last thing to do is grinding, polishing and etching. Thank you for your attention. Uh, if you like what I do and want to be informed about new videos, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.